Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to sign up for Amazon so that you can use our service. This is probably one of the, the more difficult seeming things, but once you've done this you're all set to go. You can just log in to Clips on the Run and get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is sign up for Amazon Web Services free account. As you can see here, you can see what level of free goodies you get. You get 750 hours, which is 30 days at 24 hours for free of a micro instance. Uh, we can't currently use the micro instance, so it will cost you a little bit for the medium or large server instances that we need. Uh, you get an elastic load balancer, we don't care, Amazon elastic block storage, doesn't matter. What we're after is the 5 gig of Amazon S3 standard storage. This is for your all of your images and audio and video that you'll be storing. And you also get 30 gigabits, gigab gigabytes of internet data transfer so that you can download, save, move them across to YouTube, however the service ends up working for us. <clears throat> But the main thing is the storage and the data transfer right, that you get for free with this. With this, I think you can get down to just cents a month for all of your video requirements. So what this does is this allows us to use the Movie Masher instance, which is Amazon hosted, and our front end does all of the storage for you and all of the saving of your video mashes that you create. You can start the Movie Masher instance yourself without any of this, but it won't save anything. You upload everything and as soon as you turn off your instance, it's gone. With our service, what we do is we provide the front end that stores all of that for you. And then when you start your instance, it uses your own data from, from your own storage through our interface to allow you to save everything from your audio files, your image files, your videos that you create, your mashes, which I'll explain a little bit later and in more detail about projects and how to save projects for specific things such as all the restaurants in San Francisco and then a sub project of that is all of the seafood restaurants, all of the burger palaces, and all of that sort of thing. Okay, so what we're going to do now is sign up. Right, make sure that you have this URL, which is aws.amazon.com front slash free front slash. Otherwise, you're signing up for the full full fledged service. And this is a free service that Amazon is providing to which is a 12 month free trial to allow more people to get in and use their services. Okay, so we click the sign up now button. As you can see, a valid credit card is required to sign up. See offer terms, which is the ones that we looked at before. The credit card is there for when you use services that aren't a part of this free trial. And in our case, that will mostly be just for the servers. Right, because like I said before, uh, you get a Linux micro instance usage, but the ones that we're after are the medium and the large instances, which will run Movie Masher properly. Okay, so sign up now. And then click on I'm a new user, put in your email address. Okay, and now we put your our email in. And because it's a new account, you put an I'm a new user. This is the same page that you'll get when you return. You just click on I'm a returning user and put your password in. So I'm signing using our secure server. And then you put in your name. And you put your email address in again. And type in a password. And 
hit create account. Then you put in your address. And then you put in the capture. And tick the box to indicate you've read and agreed to the terms of the Amazon Web Services customer agreement. And then you click continue. Which then brings you to this page telling you that you've created an Amazon Web Services account. I think this video is long enough for now, so I'm going to create a second one to complete the Create an Amazon Web Services Account tutorial. I'll be back with you shortly. Thank you. Thank you.